Hey guys, I'm Chewy Mew, and welcome back to another Chewy Mew review, where today we're going to be taking a look at a figure that recently came out. So I ordered both of these on eBay a little bit ago. I did originally want to pre-order them, but unfortunately, uh, the pre-order, it took so long, it, I never got them. Like, I pre-ordered them, but the, the factory never got them. I never had to pay because they never arrived, so I canceled the pre-order and I bought them on eBay. This way, they are a lot cheaper. You don't get the Build-A-Figure piece or the packaging, but they were a lot cheaper. Usually they sell them for, at Walmart and stores here, they sell them for $24, but I bought this one for $15 and this one for, I think, $16 or something. So I ended up saving like like $9 on each. So in the end, I think that's pretty good. I got these two. I also wanted to get the, the movie Venom. So here he is. Looks very cool. So here's his alternate. Better heard a knock on my door. Pop this out of there. Oops. So here's the alternate head sculpt you get with Carnage. Very cool. Looks just like the other, uh, just like the Ultimate Green Goblin Carnage, except it has the 3D texturing on it. Which I like when Hasbro does stuff like this. You don't, you don't get this too often. Open this up. Oh wow, this feels awesome. Wow, it's really it feels kind of like, I don't know. That feels really good. I don't know how to describe that. Though. Like, you got his backpack here, and I actually like that they curved it to go with his back. Like, you can see the divot here with his back where it goes in. All these tentacles, very nice. They're, like, a uh, rubbery feeling. Look at that head sculpt. Looks very good. You got, like, the looks like a, like a shuriken design, kind of. Look at the eyes. Silvery eyes. Cool mouth. I like when they make the symbiote mouths. Kind of like this one. has This one a little bit, too. I like how they make the mouth doesn't look like Venom, where you can see, like, teeth. It looks just like they have, like, the, the mask doesn't have teeth, but it looks like it, it looks like teeth, except it's not teeth, you know? Uh, Hasbro, you freaks, you did something awesome. Awesome looking, you know? This is probably my favorite Carnage. The claws here, they sculpted everything on the claws, too. Like, the, like, they feel sharp. Like, not sharp like it'll poke you, but they feel pretty sharp. They're still bendable, rubbery. The... It looks really shiny, really glossy, and also very, um, like, very shiny, and I feel like that looks really good. To me, this is, like, something I would expect in, like, a, in a, in a movie, you know, like, this kind of looking creepy slime looking going on it. Here's the legs, and I, the sculpting, I like how they, it's not symmetrical, like, it's my focus. The two legs are different. This one has a different pattern than that one. All of them are look different. I like that they put the, instead of having, like, the shoe looking things, it has, like, the 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 spiky looking toes you got five toes there I like it that they're spiky on the bottom of the foot this one says made in china and the other one says uh has or marvel 2020 hasbro sa and then you put this slime on the back i'm always afraid of taking the head off so i'm gonna break the peg and then let's pop this bad boy on here come on come on there we go yeah Oh yeah, that looks cool too, but now I think for this figure, I'm going to keep the alternate head sculpt on it. Let's pop that back on there. I think I think this alternate head sculpt looks a lot better. Like I feel like this goes with the body pretty good. The other one, I do like the head sculpt, but I don't know. To me, just this one, I feel this one fits the figure more. The head has a very good ball joint. He can. It also has the neck swivel, I think. Yeah, the head can look all the way up all the way down and the head it like very good articulation there he has the butterfly joints which these ones are really good i typically don't find too much use with the the ball joint or the, the butterfly joint here but it's pretty good the arms rotate all the way around they get a little stuck here but they still rotate pretty good they go up they don't go up all the way which i wish they did because like if you want to have his arm up higher you could do something like this like, if you wanted to make his arm go up like that, you could rotate that, like, you rotate that around. But, eh, that's fine. A single bend in, or no, double bend in the elbow. He also rotates here, I don't know if I mentioned that. The rotation here in the wrist, and a hinge in the wrist. A very good mid-torso crunch. Goes forward back, and goes back pretty good. The other thing, with the problem with the other Carnage, the other uh, Hasbro, the Build-A-Figure build Green Goblin uh, Carnage, is that this joint, after moving it a little bit, it gets very loose. And the legs here, when you swing it, the legs would move like that. Like, they move on their own. It's really annoying. Rotation here in the waist. The legs kick up. They go all the way around. Wow, I don't know if, I don't know if they all do that. But it goes all the way around. That's pretty good. He can't do the splits. 
which if you force him, he could do the splits, but I wish Carnage could do the splits. Rotation here in the upper thigh, double bend in the knee, rotation here in the, like, near the shin. The foot goes forward not too much, goes back pretty good, and has an ankle pivot, which that ankle pivot is really stiff. I'm scared of moving that. I feel like I'm going to break the figure, because all of the texturing he has on it kind of gets stuck a little bit. Like, some figures, when I move a joint, it feels like it's kind of stiff. I don't want to risk moving. I don't want to risk breaking the figure, because I just don't want to do that. So, yeah, that's going to be all for this figure. I didn't get the Build-A-Figure piece, which, yeah, some people might consider, like, oh, you got ripped off, you got scammed. But to me, honestly, I'm going to be honest here. The only Spider-Man figures, or the only Marvel figures that I collect is Spider-Man. Not because I don't, I do like, you know, Iron Man, Captain America, Thor. I like all those ones. I do like the figures, but to me, it's just, I only collect Spider-Man. That's why I have such a huge collection, but it's only Spider-Man figures. Um... So, getting the Build-A-Figure piece, it's for Venom Pool, which, honestly, if I got the Build-A-Figure piece, I'm, I don't really care too much about getting... Uh, I don't care too much about getting the Morbius, the the Symbiote Spider-Gwen, the Symbiote Miles Morales. Some of them, I don't care about getting them. To me, you know, I just don't have interest, really. So, I'm not going to complete the Build-A-Figure piece, so I might I probably would just sell them online. So I think that's a really interesting wave. If, if I do manage to find the Miles Morales and the Gwen... I might pick them up, maybe, if I if I do. Like, if I find them on eBay really cheap, I might pick them up at some point. But, uh, I, the only ones I wanted was the Venom, the Carnage, and the Phage. And this is for the Carnage. Um, let me know what you think about this figure in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next review. Wow!